Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to my Hyperion progression series. Today we have a few things that are going on. The first is we have our pretty big double miracle time event. Today we have our accessories double miracle time that allows us to get twice the chances of tearing up our accessories, including other things such as our shoulder and our belt. And we're going to make a lot of use out of today's event because we have a lot of accessories that we need to tear up and a lot of accessories that we need to roll. And later on, after we finish all that, we're going to give a try at potentially two more bosses. The first one being Normal Dark Nail. I didn't get to show this on the previous video because I ran out of time. But I do want to attempt to try to do Normal Dark Nail. I am pretty close to leveling up to 264, but I think that we have the damage to go and attempt Dark Nail. And then later on in the week, I might even try to do Hard Damien. Now, Hard Damien's a little bit more of a challenge because my class doesn't really have a good time hitting Damien when he's in the air. But I still want to give it a try because he does give a lot of money and my hard lotus run is actually kind of fast. And I can imagine with my new damage gear, it might even be faster. So those are the two main things we want to do. We want to try to get our tier ups in and then we're going to give a go at doing some new bosses. To start off, let's have a look at what our stat is currently looking like. Uh, I'm going to put on my damage gear because that is the first thing that I want to work on. I do have about four or five items that I need to tier up and then a few that I need to re-roll to make into damage gear. Currently sitting at 28k stat, and hopefully by the end of this we'll be at about 30k, so that's our expectation. So let's start off by just getting some cubes and then trying to tear up some of the things. The first things that I want to start on are my accessories. A lot of them are just kind of all over the place. And then we have our belt to do and also our shoulder. So let's buy some of these bright cubes. I do have a lot of items I need to tear up, so I will be buying this 100 pack and hopefully this is enough. And we'll see how we go. We hit 18% actually on the unique. I think this is perfectly fine. I think 18% I'm pretty happy to settle with even though it's unique. Uh, it might be expensive to try to go for legendary and then we have to reroll for 18 or 21 anyway. So let's just keep that as is and move on to the next item. I'm actually going to go with the epic items because I feel like they might be easier to tear up and also there is still a chance I can get another 18% on unique. Might be cheaper to start with these instead. Okay, well we get 15% on reveal. Let's keep that for the time being and move on to the other item. Wow, 21%. <laughs> Three line int on the unique. I think we are pretty happy with that as well. That's basically two line legendary, so we'll just move on to the next one. I think my earrings are the next worst, so let's work with these. 15%. Now I'm going to quickly look through and see which ones are not 15%. Let's uh, go with the black bean mark. So I'm just basically going through and trying to get all the ones that are the lower stat up first before trying to push them to legendary. Oh, here we go. We got 18% in. We haven't gotten any legendary tier ups, but we did hit <laughs> quite a few 18s and 21s anyway. Uh, it's a bit unfortunate, no tier up, but I think can't really complain with some of these potential lines. Uh, let's go with the ones that are currently 15% now. I do have the Earring, Dom Pendant, and Suppering that are sitting at 15, so let's just work through those three first. And there we have it, we finally got our first legendary tier up. It took 70 cubes or something, that's a, a little bit rough, but that's just how variance is. We have some spare cubes we can try to roll for maybe two line of int. Right, we didn't hit anything, but we can come back for that in a little bit. Let's go back for our earrings and our suppering. And uh, hopefully it doesn't take the rest of the cubes. So far the uh, legendary tier up is a bit rough, but that's okay. Oh, we got a tier up and 18% on reveal. Our earrings are basically done as well. Let's go back for the superior ring now. Okay, they're all coming at the same time, that's good. Right, now I'm just going to double check to see if everything has been tiered up. It looks like everything is okay. I think the only one left I need to do uh, in terms of my damage gear is this shoulder. So let's see if we can get either 17%. I'm pretty happy settling on 17% or we can go for a tier up. Ooh, a three line. Managed to get 
and that is perfectly fine as well. Alright, not a lot of tear ups today on our damage gear, but we did end up just hitting random three lines and two lines. So, I guess it kind of worked out. Uh, the next thing I want to do is to fix the, the legendary lines. So this one needs to be fixed and this one, so just two items. Uh, the rest of them are already at 18 or 21, which are perfectly fine to settle even though they're unique. So let's grab some of these glowing cubes and we'll see what we can get. Let's start off with the Dom Pendant and uh, let's see what we can get. There we go, 21% on the Dom Pendant. Next is our ring. Last piece of damage gear, I believe. And there we go, we got 21% on the ring as well. So the next thing that I want to do is to be able to have an item drop line for every piece of gear. So when I do clear a boss, I want to have as many item drop lines as possible. Uh, currently, I have three rings with item drop. And so I need to make a fourth ring. So I have this Treasure Hunter's John's ring. Uh, I want to make that into item drop. So then I have four drop rings. I already have one drop pendant, so I need to make another drop pendant. So one of these mechanators will be turned into just a random drop pendant. Face accessories already drop. Uh, my eye accessory, I think, is Meso, so I'll need to make another eye accessory. So I have this second one into hopefully drop rate, and I believe my earrings are already drop rate. Yep. So I just need to do a few more. Just one ring, one pendant, and the face accessory. Let's start with the eye accessory. Okay, managed to get the tear up nice and quick. Next, we'll go for the ring. Wow, very cheap legendary as well. Thankfully, it's uh, kind of compensating for kind of a rough tear up rate on uh, my damage equips. If it wasn't for the fact that they hit proper 18% on unique, uh, this one might have been a bit painful, but kind of balanced out here for us. Nice, legendary. So now we just need to use our glowing cubes and hopefully roll one line of item drop per item. Okay, we got item drop. Next one. Oh, there we go. Item drop. And one more. There we go. So now we have our full set of item drop gear. We won't even need to Star Force these because we're just purely switching them in after we do our bosses. Uh, now we should have every single spot in our inventory being able to be drop gear after we swap them out. Let's just double check. I believe that's uh, nine spots of item drop. And the only way that we can cap out, which is at 200% uh, is to have one of these items being double item drop which is very difficult to roll for, to be honest. So this is probably the best that we can do for our drop gear for the time being. Now there's only really one more thing that I need to do, or rather two things, is decide whether or not I want to change this superior pendant into full damage gear, so getting rid of the meso line, and also the uh, choice to make this condensed power crystal into damage gear as well. Because technically I am missing uh, about 9% from this condensed power crystal because I have an item drop line, and for this superior pen, of course, I'm missing about 12% as well because of the meso. But the problem is I don't actually have that much money and I don't know if I have enough to make both of those into damage gear. And making a mechanator pendant into meso gear might be a bit rough because then I do lose quite a bit of damage, I believe. Uh, the superior pendant is decently strong compared to the mechanator. At the same time though, I have been farming in Limina where the damage requirement is as high. So maybe I'm okay making a separate Meso Pendant. I think I'm going to go with the Meso Pendant first, just because I do like the idea of having a Superior Pendant being full damage gear. So let's go with that first. I am not so fussed about this Condensed Power Crystal, because the at least the item drop line has also got 12% int, whereas this is just 9% int with Meso. For those who are wondering why I'm using a Mechanator for Meso instead of Dominator Pendants, it's because Dominator Pendants I think are very precious, and they are either going to be used for Star Forcing when I eventually push my Dom Pendant to 21, or maybe I'll use it to fodder into a Superior. So I, I refuse to use any Dominator Pendant for Meso Drop Gear, it's, it's all entirely going to be into Star Forcing of some sort, 
And then maybe later down the track where I'm really far down where I don't need the Dominators anymore, I might come back to make these pendants. But for now though, uh, I'm just going to stick with the Mechanator just for some cheap Meso gear. Nice, we managed to get the tier up. Okay, now we can roll this away for Meso. Ooh, we hit item drop with double stat. So because I hit item drop stat stat, I don't know if I'm going to use that down the track, but it's nice having two stat lines. So I'm going to roll the other mechanic pen that I have that just has item drop and see if I can get Meso on that. Ah, oh, nice. We got Meso and then a six all stat line. Perfect. Now we can finally use our cubes to roll our superior Golix pendant to see if we can get to line of int. Nice, we got 18% and that should be all that we need. So the last piece of gear that isn't damage gear that I have at the moment is this condensed power crystal. I'm not super convinced on making this one into damage gear, mostly because what I kind of plan on doing is once I finish my arcane symbols, uh, currently they're at level 17, I might consider starting Commercy. I'm not doing it right now because I don't want to do more dailies at the moment, but once I finish my Arcane River symbols, uh, that'll give me a lot more time back and I'll have more time to be more willing to do the Commercy dailies instead of these Arcane symbols. And then I can eventually go for the Sweetwater Tattoo uh, in that spot. Or maybe if I get lucky, I might get a Twilight Mark as well. So maybe it's not really worth going for the Cadence Power Crystal. Anyway, let's put some of these items aside. It looks like I have pretty much my drop and item gear done. I also have a separate set of Meso gear as well for the pendant spot. And basically we have all the things that we need for our bossing and our training now. Having all these items set up uh, will give us more versatility on our items. So let's start off by just wearing all of our damage gear first and see what it looks like. So this is what our damage gear currently looks like where everything is 18% or higher with the exception of the hat because that's the only one that hasn't received DMT at the moment. We do have two more event rings that need to be damage rings, but one of them is item drop with 15%, which is pretty decent, and the other one has at least 9% on it. So I'm not missing too much from just those two. I am also technically missing out on a heart that's just randomly legendary, so I am missing about 9 to 12% on this heart as well. But the problem is the fairy heart is quite expensive. It is for bill, and then that's definitely not something I can afford at the moment. So this is what our stats are looking like. And we are looking at, wow, 31k stat. So that was a pretty significant gain. I think we gained about 3000 stat from all the upgrades that we did. And actually now that we're pretty much done with cubing, we can also tear up all these painfully expensive arcane symbols that cost us about 300 mil. We are looking at 31 and a half thousand stat. So quite a big jump. A lot of the percent lines definitely added up and now that pretty much everything has useful lines our character has increased a significant amount of stat. Speaking of gains in terms of damage as well recently I have hit 4000 legion you see my expanded grid here is much bigger I also have this new abyssal expedition block uh, that we recently finished so this is what my damage legion grid looks like at the moment uh, I think in theory I'm supposed to fill out this boss damage one but I haven't really figured out how to uh, move all my blocks into convenient places. So this is what it looks like. I'll probably try to organize it later. But the thing is, my Legion Grid is kind of expanding sort of fast. So it's kind of hard to efficiently move them around. But this is what we have at the moment. Our new additions to the grid. I have a level 200 Blaster that's currently in. I also have a Wild Hunter now, which gives us a little bit of extra damage. I have my Shade, which gives us 3% crit damage, which is really nice. And I also have a Hayato that gives us another 3% crit damage. So that uh, explains why we have such a bigger Legion. And we're just slowly building on this. Um, I, I feel like I have most of the important Legion grid out of the way. Now it's just a matter of expanding it to get the entire thing and then filling out all the blocks. Enough talking now. Let's go ahead and try some bosses.
after the DMT. It seems that our weeklies are significantly faster now. We managed to clear a lot of the bosses a lot quicker than usual and especially so for our Hard Lotus and our Normal Gloom. They went by a lot more comfortably. This week I actually managed to clear Hard Lotus without taking a single life. But on the contrast, I almost died out in Normal Gloom. So maybe it's not the damage that's going to be an issue for a lot of the bosses going forward, but that's okay. This week I also tried Normal Dark Nell and it went by pretty smoothly as you guys saw. I was able to do both Normal Gloom and Normal Dark Nell within the same 30 minutes. And let's go sell our crystals and see how much we make. So from all of that, we made two and a half bill, putting us at almost four bill now. Now I have the option of buying the Fairy Heart, but again, I'm not so sold on it because I do have to upgrade on top of that. And unfortunately, I'm actually recording this the day after the DMT, so I'm not even able to get the double miracle time bonus. Unfortunately, my double miracle time on my existor items didn't go as well as I had hoped. I was hoping that it would be a little bit cheaper, but I did get a little bit unlucky here and there. But that's okay, we missed out on one event. It'll probably come back around, and honestly, the heart isn't a super crucial gain, uh, and it's probably going to come back on a next major event. So uh, maybe at the end of the event, I might just buy it, but we'll see what happens in regards to upgrading it. For now, though, what I want to try to focus on is actually seeing if I can clear Hard Damien. Now, Hard Damien is the next tier of hard bosses after Lotus. Uh, technically, it's a easier boss and the crystal is actually worth less than Lotus. But the issue with Damien is that he does spend a lot of his time in the air, which makes him a lot more annoying to kill. And he's got a bigger HP pool as well, which makes him much more tedious to beat. I still want to try to attempt Damien because he does have a chance of dropping the Magic Eye Patch, which is the best in slot item. And also just another big crystal that we can get per week is always nice. This is going to be the next thing I want to try. I'm going to go grab some buffs and then... We'll just go in and see how we go. I don't expect to be able to clear him, mostly because I don't know if I have damage just yet. I'll see you guys inside the boss, and let's hope that we can clear it. And there we have it, we managed to get also the hard Damien clear. It was a lot easier than I expected. I guess my DPS uptime was higher than uh, I had anticipated. I guess there were some times where I was able to actually still jump up and smack him. Uh, thankfully because of one of my fifth job skills, this Aura Scythe has pretty long range. So I was actually still able to hit Damien in the air. And it felt like overall uh, it was pretty straightforward to be able to clear the boss. Uh, there weren't too many silly mechanics. I did die a few times, but I was playing a little bit more aggressively than maybe I should have. I definitely could have conserved a few lives here and there, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. We got the clear. Oh, another hard boss out of the way, and another chance of us getting some pitch boss, uh, as unlikely as that is. 
So I'm just gonna pop some of my drop gear and coupons and all that sort of stuff and hopefully we can get something fun. I also wouldn't mind the chance of getting the Ruined Force Shield. I think that is a nice anvil for our shield as well. So plenty of things that can come out of this box. We have 394 drop rate. The only thing we're missing is one extra line of drop rate from our gear, but I don't have a double drop item. We've got ourselves a Absolab armor box, which is pretty good. I don't know if I want to fully transition into Arcanes, but having these Absolab armor boxes gives us the choices to go back for some of the Absolute items. I think it's not bad to have a stash of them, so I'll probably have a bunch of spares of each of them. And now that we can clear Lotus and Damien, the hard version, we are actually able to just skip the weeklies completely and just hope for these armor boxes instead. With Damien now also out of the way, we have managed to clear two of the bosses that drop Pitch Boss, which is amazing. And now we can sell our crystal as well. 350 mil extra a week, putting us at just a little bit over 4 build now. I think for now though guys, that might be the end of today's video. I think we have gone through quite a lot of things in this part, so... Just to recap, we did go through our DMT and we got a lot of our damage gear done. We also did a lot of things regarding our item drop rate and kind of fixing up our meso gear, which is really nice. Now we have basically all the equipment we need to be able to farm pretty comfortably, train comfortably, and also give us a pretty good chance at drops as well. In terms of our bossing, we have added another two bosses to our weekly, I guess, routine. Now we managed to clear Hard Damien, which is really nice. That's a, another boss that can drop Pitch Boss for us. And also we have clear Normal Dark Mail, which is also a lot of extra money. Our weekly income now, it looks to be about 3 bill from just our weekly bosses, which is pretty crazy if you ask me considering how long we've been playing on this character. I guess our next goal right now would be to work towards Hard Lucid, Hard Will. I don't think I'm too far away from them. Uh, my gear isn't the greatest, but thankfully because of the 6 job, we might be able to do those bosses a lot earlier than expected. Once we can get some of these nodes a little bit more upgraded, we might be able to have a better chance, but I have to test out my damage a little bit more carefully to make sure that I can actually do P3 of Hard Lucid. I think with the damage that I have at the moment, I might actually be able to make it to part 3, but I don't think that I have the damage required to actually clear part 3. I think the easiest way for me to try to get those gains outside of improving, I guess, the Star Force of some of my equipment is just to simply work on my Legion. If we can get the Outer Legion board a little bit further expanded so we can have some more into our ignore defense crit damage and boss damage it will be a pretty significant boost another thing as well is maybe if we get lucky on the familiars uh, we could get like maybe one or two epic fams to be useful maybe a 30 percent ied or if we get really lucky we might get some kind of boss damage as well but pretty much anything that can improve our current one which is just simply 315 ied fams so that's probably the next goal i'm not really sure how i'm going to do it but that's going to be what we're going to try to aim for. Thank you guys again for watching this series. I really appreciate your guys' support. Take care. I hope to see you guys in the next part. And as always, have a nice day.